The speed of light is nearly instantaneous. You can tell so by turning on a light. Regardless of the distance between you and the light source, there is never a visible delay. The speed of sound, on the other hand, is far slower. You can experience this by being in a large open area, where you can hear the delay of your echo bouncing off distant rocks before it travels back to you. When light and sound are being perceived together, this discrepancy in speeds can deceive you. An example of this is when you're trying to locate a plane in the sky from its sound, only to realize it's far ahead of where it sounds like it is. Let's try to visualize and compare the speed of sound and light to understand how much quicker the speed of light is than sound. To visualize the speed of sound, we'll need something considerably large, the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, California. The span between both towers is 1,280 meters. This is a great distance to see how quickly sound can get from one side to the other. I'll use a bullet to represent the speed of sound, as some 9mm bullets travel the speed of sound, 343 meters every second. If I shot a bullet from one tower to the other, it would reach the second tower in 3.7 seconds. This is what the speed of sound looks like bouncing from tower to tower in real time. The speed of light, on the other hand, is a lot quicker. To visualize the speed of light, we will need an object so large that we will need the whole planet. Planet Earth. The Earth's circumference is 40,075 kilometers at its equator. This is nothing for the speed of light, as it is able to circle the Earth seven and a half times every second. Let's zoom out to see the speed of light traveling between the Earth and the Moon. The Moon is 384,400 kilometers away. It takes the speed of light only 1.28 seconds. If a light source was heading to the Sun, the Sun being 147,450,000 kilometers away, it would take light 8 minutes and 20 seconds one way. So the next time you are perceiving light and sound together, like watching someone playing basketball, just remember, in the time that sound can travel from one tower on the Golden Gate Bridge to the other, light can travel to the moon, back to Earth, and to the moon once again. Back at the court, these drastic variations in speeds can be experienced. Up close, you can hear and see the ball hit the ground at the same time without a delay. But if you're far enough away, the speed of sound has enough time to begin to visibly fall behind the speed of light. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing.